morning, morning Mustangs. Mustangs. That's Sierra. And that's Gavin. And, and you're watching, watching the Mustang, Mustang Minutes for February 11, 2016. 2016. Okay, Mustangs, join Gavin for the pledges and moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. Sign up for the Key Club Sweetheart Photos are in room 916 or during A lunch or B lunch. Don't mi miss catching up these special moments. Yearbooks are still on sale for $65. You can pre-order one from Mr. Grummet or in room 304 or on yearbooksforever.com. They are going really fast, so get yours before it's too late. Also, be on the lookout for student council members selling lollipops before classes and after school this week. Students interested in the health science second year class, applications are now available. You must be 16, year old, 16 years old when the 2016 through 17 school year begins and have an excellent teacher referral, attendance, discipline, and character traits. See Ms. Brown in room 309, Ms. Fardo in room 1008, or the counselor's office for an application. Applications uh, are due to Ms. Brown by 4 o'clock p.m. on February 26th. Who wants a fiesta? The top three fifth period classes in the running for the Key Club Super Bowl canned food drive fiesta are uh, Miss Allen in the lead, following very, very closely by Coach Bishop and Coach Graham's class in third. Final counts will be done this Friday. Uh, so who's going to fiesta? Well, that looks like it's all for wait, today. Signing. Wait, wait. You can't forget about the Black History Month. Oh, that's right. We have a video for you guys. But before we show you that video, signing off for the Mustang Minutes, I'm Gavin Maxwell. And I'm Sierra Irby. Everyone, Everyone have, have a great, great day, day and go get them Mustang. Tubman is considered the Moses of our people. And the kind of courage to escape to slavery yourself, but then to go back for people. And that's, that's the real story of connection. Here's someone that not only advocated leaving the plantation, but actually developed an underground railroad, a process that would usher people in the still of the night to escape to the North and escape to their freedom. I mean, I, just, just imagine you've gotten out of chattel slavery, the institution of slavery. You've escaped, and yet you come back. You have the courage and the care about other people to come back into to a hell to try to get other people out of it. It's just, it's an amazing story. No one struck more fear in the hearts of slave owners than Harriet Tubman because tens of thousands of slave owners had to deal with for the first time the fact that these people are going to rebel. Well, on my slave part of this movement, they had to look at their servants differently because here was a woman that far beyond who she could touch, they were, did not know who her followers were. She was far more effective as the symbol that they feared than the few hundred that she saved. Lots of school children in America don't know a lot about slavery, but they know Harriet Tubman. It's almost a cliche, but it's the cliche that's a necessary one because it's a story that's not just about black people, but it's about human beings caring for other people and having the courage to do what is right, even at peril to yourself. And so that's what I think her story is about. <laughs> 